you guys definitely read the title. You know what's happening. I'm showing you what I bought at Comic Con. So let's just let's just get into it like really really quicker. Right. Starting out, first off, is this shirt. This was in the package of the pre-bought stuff before you went, and I got this, and it's pretty sweet. I got this Toronto Comic Con thing on the side, and nothing on the other. I don't think I haven't really fully looked around the shirt. I've only worn it this whole time. A bag of stuff. This Superman. There are two options. There's Superman, and then just the United by Fandom one, and I chose Superman because I like DC stuff. And here's United by Fandom. On the side, some cool fan expo. The stuff that I bought is in the bag, but I want to start out with. Unfortunately, I had to take it out of the box, but whatever, who cares? This tiny TV plays the Batman show from his 60s. So there it is. It's genuinely playing. Then you have this remote which is a real working remote. Turn the volume up. Turn it down. Switch the channel. It plays clips from the show, it doesn't show full episodes, but it's still really cool because there's like 10 different clips. Then shut it off. I'll show off the poster which is United by Fandom. I don't know where to put this. I don't know if I want to put this in the room behind me with my Sharks jersey, the Super Nintendo jersey, and Luigi, so I could like put more stuff on display. Let me know what I should do with it, or I should just put it in my room for, um, if I ever bring a girl in my room, she could just see that. So I'm, I'm thinking of putting it in here. I got this sick lanyard that says, it doesn't have the year. It just says Toronto Comic Con in the Mario font. And then I won this from a crane game. There are crane people that are there. I got Yellow Yoshi. Which, I mean, obviously he's fake. He's not real. Because never Nintendo would never license it. He's a bit fat. But that's fine. And then it has this cool little Mario logo that's yellow. And a wristband with the Super Mario name. I've never been one to like collect lanyards, but I think it's kind of cool. I wanted to like put a Pokemon card on it so I could do like the Logan Paul like Pokemon card chain, but I couldn't find any top loaders with holes in them. Fat Mega Charizard. I bought this because it's very, very cool. The only reason why I thought it was cool is because those um pokemon plushes that were released a couple years ago that were the hoenn starters and they're all fat and they're worth lots and lots of money this is obviously not one of the hoenn starters but it's still very funny and i love him and i think he's sick i also won this puffin no that's the browser uh this duck thing i don't know what it's called i it's it's not in English, but I love him. I won it because the claw machine people were there, and it was like not rigged claws. I actually genuinely won this one. Someone pulled out the Yoshi for me, but I genuinely won this one. And he's very squishy and soft. He's pretty cool. I got this Necrozma V uh, Pokemon card. This was originally the Pokemon card I was going to put around my neck to be like, Hey, look at me. I, I Look at this Pokemon card. I don't know why I did that voice. That was cringe. Yeah, this is one of the cheaper things I bought. Not the cheapest, though. Because the cheapest thing that I bought was this little Zekrom figure. This was like two bucks. It was incredibly cheap, and I love him. And I was like, hey, I think Pokemon should make a game where the Pokemon are small like this. And I'm like, oh wait, they have, it's called Pokemon Rumble. So that's really cool. That is everything. Comic-Con is really cool. Um, mostly because I saw three furries in the wild before. Anyways.